Today we are going to see the preliminaries in power system operation and control that is real power frequency control and reactive power voltage control we call that as the PF and QV loops. So to perform the frequency and voltage magnitude control the generator will have uh, two basic control loops they are the real power frequency control loop or PF control loop or we call it as ALFC loop that is automatic load frequency control loop. Second one reactive power voltage control loop or QV control loop or AVR loop automatic voltage regulator loop. So consider this diagram. So this diagram uh, consists of the three categories. The first one will be the primary ALFC loop so which consists of all these uh, parameters up to this part. This is your primary ALFC loop and along with this primary the whole system this system we call it as a secondary LFC loop and third one AVR loop. So, this path we call it as a AVR loop. So, we will see one by one. First, we start with the primary LFC loop which consists of a speed sensor, speed governor and the hydraulic amplifier finally, we will be having the control valve. In the primary LFC control loop, uh, the speed sensor senses the speed of the turbine and this speed is compared with the reference speed and the differential speed is sensed by the speed governor. So, the reference speed is coming from here and that is compared with the actual speed given from the speed sensor and the different speed is sent to the hydraulic amplifier. So, the main operation of the speed governor uh, is to control the speed corresponding to differential speed by closing and opening of the control valve. If the differential speed is low then the control valve is opened so that the steam can flow at high speed thereby increasing the speed of the turbine and if the differential speed is high then the control valve starts closing so that the speed of the steam flow can be reduced thereby speed of the turbine also reduced. This control of speed in turn controls the frequency as you know the speed is directly proportional to frequency. In this primary LFC loop the speed of operation is very fast. So, it uh, occurs in uh, 1 to several seconds. So, thus to maintain a megawatt balance this primary loop performs a frequency control or we call it as a speed control. Now, second one the secondary LFC loop. So, in the secondary LFC loop the frequency sensor. So, here we will be having a frequency sensor. This frequency sensor senses the frequency at the bus bar itself. So, from the bus bar directly it senses the frequency and this frequency is the is compared with the tie line power frequency. So, the tie line is the line where the frequency and voltage everything remains constant. So, we take that frequency as a reference frequency and from the frequency from the frequency sensor taken as the actual frequency we are comparing this two frequency in the signal mixer and the output of this signal mixer is the error frequency we call that as a area control error ACE. And the area control error is sent to the speed changer through the integrator. The signal is integrated and it is sent to the speed changer. The speed changer gives the reference speed that will be given to the speed governor and then the primary LFC loop starts and the operation continues. So, this loop the secondary LFC loop the speed of operation is very slow process since the frequency is sensed and it is compared and it is given to the speed changer. So, this loop is insensitive to rapid load and frequency changes, but uh, it focuses drift like changes which takes place over a period of minutes. Using the two control loops primary and the secondary ALFC loops, the speed is controlled in turn controls the frequency of the system since the speed is directly proportional to the frequency. So, this variation of speed results in variation of real power. Now, coming to the third part that is AVR loop that is automatic voltage regulator loop. The automatic voltage regulator loop controls the magnitude of supply voltage. The bus bar voltage is continuously sensed and stepped down to a small value with the help of the potential transformer. And this small voltage is sent to the rectifier circuit which in turn converts the AC to DC and also it removes the harmonic content present in the AC. 
and the DC signal is sent to the comparator and the output of the rectifier and the filter block is the actual value of voltage VI and this VI is compared with the reference voltage VI or reference the actual voltage is compared with the reference voltage and the error voltage is created and this error signal is amplified with the help of amplifier and the amplified signal is sent to the exciter block. So, the main function of the exciter is to give excitation on the field circuit of the generator based on the polarity of error signal. Depending upon the field excitation, uh, the generator induces EMF. So, the output of the generator is stepped up using the step up transformer and fed to the bus bar. Thus, the voltage is controlled in this circuit. So, based on the comparison, the exciter performs a role to excite the field winding so that the voltage in the generator gets controlled. There will be some interaction between these two loops AVR and ALFC loops. AVR loop affects the magnitude of the generated EMF as the internal EMF decides the magnitude of a real power. It is clear that changes in AVR loop will be felt in ALFC loop as well. However, this AVR loop is much faster than ALFC loop. AVR dynamics may settle before they can make themselves felt in the slower load frequency control channel. So, this is how this uh, PF and uh, QV loops operate. So, in ALFC loop, we are controlling the frequency and speed, thereby controlling the real power, and in AVR loop, we are controlling the voltage thereby controlling the reactive power Q.